Inshallah, today we will continue the same surah, Surah Al-An'am, from uh, that we discussed last time, Ayat 38, Inshallah, last part of 38, we will start. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, through this ayat, actually teaching us, though it is about the disbelievers, but Sometimes we have some type of confusion like disbelievers. So we have to correct ourselves, inshallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling us that all these creatures, including humans and genes, it is like a nation. It is also like a nation. So how they are Allah comparing with human and other animals. There are some similarities in that way that we are, as a social being, we have family, we are earnings, we are collecting foods. These creatures also have family, they are also collecting foods, they have built their houses, they have some kings, they have some queens, you know, the honeybee, they have queens and ants, they have kings. So they are also great creature of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it is not like that they are just little little creatures, don't have any values, not like that. It has also some values. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling us, uh, teaching us the dua that Rabbana ma khalaq tahala baatila. You didn't create anything useless. Everything has some purposes in this dunya. And next, Ma farratna fil kitabi min shay. And all these things that is in this dunya, it is recorded in a book. Which book? That in lawha mahfuz. In lawha mahfuz, everything is recorded. Tumma ila rabbihim yuhsharun. And all these things in this dunya, the creatures, the humans, the everything will return to him. Where? In the day of judgment. So in the day of judgment, there is an interesting hadith. What will happen with the animals? In this dunya, for example, 
uh, some uh, this believer when I talk to uh, I talk to with some Japanese because they don't sometimes uh, don't believe in the payama. What is the purpose? So I explain. For example, if someone killed me, and that person may be very powerful in politics or somehow economically, so maybe he can escape from the judgment. So it is in case of this dunya, but what happened in the day of Tayama, I can revenge from him. Because in this dunya, I cannot take revenge. It is not justice. There is a day which called the day of justice. And the day of justice, the judgment, the judge is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Maliki Yawmiddin. He is the owner of the day. So, in case of animals, it is narrated from Abu Hurairah, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, لا تؤد أن الحقوق إلى أهلها يوم القيامة حتى يقال للشاة الجلحاء من الشاة القرناء. That Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the rights of justice will be surely restored to their people on the day of resurrection. That means everything will be in justice. Even the hornless sheep will be we claim to the horn sheep. That means in this dunya, any sheep maybe is hornless. He doesn't have horn. So other sheep that horn, he can hit him. But he cannot hit. But in the day of Tayyama, Allah will give that hornless sheep a horn to hit that other sheep. That means it is equal now. And then Allah will say, you are all now become dust. And observing this scenery, that these all creatures become dust, the soil, the disbeliever will say, Ya Raitani Kun Tuturaba. We were the best creation in the dunya, but now if I would be a camel or a cow or a dog, it would be better for me. Because they don't have any judgment. They will not have to go hellfire. They are all finished here. But what happened to me? I have to go and fly. That means if I would be a cow or camel or dog, it would be better for me. In So inshallah, we, we, we are protected. We are protected from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah guide us that we are Muslims. We know that there is the day of judgment. We all have to confess. We all have to in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Next, move to the next ayat. وَالَّذِينَ كَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا سُمُّ وَبُكْمٌ فِي الظُّلُمَاتِ Very interesting ayat. وَالَّذِينَ كَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا Those who disbelieve in the, day, in the ayat, that means the Quran, سُمُّ وَبُكْمٌ فِي الظُّلُمَاتِ They are in darkness. They are in darkness and they cannot listen, they cannot say. It is not literal. Biologically, physically, they can see, they can hear, they can speak. But Allah is saying they are deaf, they are dumb. Why? Because they don't know, they are actually not accept the Quran. They don't want to listen to Quran. And so moon book moon. They are deaf. Whenever they listen to Quran, it is like they are listening nothing. And in case of, uh, uh, they don't want to speak about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They always talking about materialistic thing. Anything is happening in this dunya, it is our own choice. It is our own power. We have did this. They always thinking about like this, but they don't recognize Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said they are in the darkness. In the darkness, they don't have the light of Quran, the nur that Allah gave us, the Quran. It is the light. For example, the journey from this dunya to akhirah, it is a long journey, isn't it? In case if you want to go from here to somewhere very far away, 
you will at least have to have some navigations or some light. Because in the middle of the way, there will be dark. So from this dunya to akhirah, it is a very long journey. We have to have a navigation. And the navigation is the Quran. And the light is also the Quran. It will show us which is the Sirat al mustaqim How we can go to Jannah. Because there are so many dark paths. Only one way to the Jannah. So they don't have these lights. That's why they are in darkness. مَنْ يَشَأِ اللَّهُ يُضْلِلْهُمْ وَمَنْ يَشَأْ يَجْعَلْ مَعَلَى صِرَاطِ مُسْتَقِيمٍ It is solely, absolutely, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to whom He can guide, to whom He can astray. Because if someone thinks that uh, this all are creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, why Allah chose him to go to Jannah, or why Allah selected for hellfire? It is not because of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because of the person. The person wants to do anything not from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He always follows his own desires. That's why Allah tells him that he will go to hellfire. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمَا أَنَا بِظَلَّامِ الْعَبِيدِ I am not unjust to any servant. Allah not unjust to anyone. Allah is just. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will don't make any mistakes in case of any judgment. And today I would like to mention a hadith. And this hadith is related with the next ayat. And there is so many important teaching for us. It is narrated from uh, Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu. قال كنت خلف رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يوما I was behind the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم one day in the same camel. فقال يا أولام رسول صلى الله عليه وسلم said Oh boy إني أعلمك كلماتي I will teach you some advice. First advice احفظ الله يحفظ Be mindful of Allah سبحانه وتعالى Take care about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah will protect you from everything. So it is a great teaching actually. Every moment, wherever we are, we have to think we are in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is watching us. If you think like that, Allah will protect us, inshaAllah. Be mindful of Allah and you will find Him in front of you. If any crisis, you will find there is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is actually kind of believing. If you believe like that, you will feel sometimes that. That because of that problem, I, uh, I solved that problem because of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It will be like daylight you will acknowledge that I saved from that problem only because of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Next, the third advice. Ida sa'alta fas'alillah. Whenever you ask, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa ida sta'anta fas'ta'ibillah. Whenever you need help, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This fourth advice, very valuable advice. Whenever you want something, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then the Sulsa Allah wasalam, explaining something that if this whole nation wants to help you to some extent, they cannot do except that is already accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if the whole nation want to harm you to uh, to make you some, uh, to harm, what does it mean? To make you uh, sad, to make trouble. your position down or trouble, they cannot do. Except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those who prescribed, already decided. So, it is a kind of belief that Allah is selecting, Allah is observing, Allah is knowing everything. Nothing happened except the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
So next ayat, as I told you, it is related with this because next ayat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Qul ar'aytum in atakum adabu Allahi aw atatkum sa'atu aghayr Allahi tad'oon in kuntum sadiqin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, tell me if the punishment of Allah comes to you or the hour befalls you, would you call someone other than Allah? If you are truthful, that means whenever you are in a big trouble, in a big trouble, whom you are asking to help? Obviously Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whatever their religion, we know that now in this pandemic situation, all the religious people, whatever their religion, they think, they believed that it is because of someone who is supreme, the Lord, the supreme Lord. If he can want, then only it can be stopped. Otherwise, whatever we have done, our possibilities, we done. But it is not in our hand. That means, they believe that there is a supreme Lord. He is controlling everything. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling this. بَلْ إِيَّاهُ تَدْعُونَ فَيَكْشِفُ مَا تَدْعُونَ إِلَيْهِ إِنْ شَاءَ وَتَنْسَوْنَ مَا تُشْرِكُونَ And it is on him that you would call. That means you all, all uh, always in this type of situation you call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If it were his will, he would remove whatever harm made you call to him. So, in the earlier time of corona situation, I saw some videos on YouTube that some ulama, they used to wear pagris, like right, turban. So, they take off their pagri in a, in, as a symbol of humbleness. So they take off their pagri, the turban, as a symbol of humbleness. That, oh Allah, I could out take off my pagri. That means I am so miskin now. I'm asking Dua, please remove this corona. But Allah didn't do it at once, that time. But day by day, Allah is removing it. So it is said that if Allah wants, then it will be removed. Otherwise, you cannot do anything. Subhanallah. And that time you know that you forget all the idols, all the uh, statues, that or false deities, all your gods you forget. You only ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is actually the human nature. Allah created human in a in this way. Allah make human like this. Whenever they in a severe condition, severe problem, they ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whom they, uh, who taught them there is no one can solve this problem, only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is their nature. It is human nature. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Wala qad arsalna ila in public. Now Allah talking about two tests. The two test is sometimes Allah tests by providing, by giving you so many wealth, so much wealth, and sometimes Allah tests you with nothing, that you are very poor position. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا إِلَىٰ أُمَمٍ مِّنْ قَبْلِكْ فَأَخَذْنَاهُمْ بِالْبَأْسَاءِ وَالضَّرَّاءِ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَضَرَّعُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, we sent messengers before you to make continuous uh, communities and tormented their people with suffering and hardship so that they could learn humbleness. So the purpose is humbleness. Why Allah taste us to make our hearts soft? That it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who put me in, the, in this test. It is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is testing me. So I have to turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a humble way. Oh Allah, I need mistakes. Maybe because of my mistakes you are testing me. So give me the power of patience. 
We have to think like that. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did this with the previous nations also. Allah, uh, for example, this time is the main issue is the corona pandemic, the big issue. But how many people can learn from this pandemic? Can get that it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have to change our life, we have to change our thinking. Very few. Though we saw some people accepting Islam because of they cannot go out. We saw, right, in the YouTube, that they cannot go out because of pandemic. So say, is researching Islam, they are reading Quran. So Allah gave them this hidayah. They are becoming Muslims. But the ratio may be not that much. What about the other religious people? They are not thinking like that. So this is first test with the loss of health, loss of wealth. And another test is فَلَمَّا نَسُوا مَا ذُكِّرُوا بِهِ فَتَحْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ أَبْوَابَ كُنُشْ I jump to ayat 44 to complete this lecture. So the next test is when they forget that I put in the test because of to return to me, but they forget. They always thinking that we can do something from this uh, to recover this problem. We have the power, we have the intelligence, we have the economy, so we can do something, we can research something, somehow we can escape from this problem. But they don't think about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what then they, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do? فَلَمَّا نَسُوا مَا ذُكِّرُوا بِهِ فَتَحْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ أَبْوَابَ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ I put you in the trouble though you don't have the lesson then I will open the, all the gates all the gates of wealth provisions so you will increase your wealth you will increase your money you will increase your everything that means your everything will be fulfilled it's like you are in the heaven, but it is also test. So we have to think that whatever the situation is, it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And lastly, I will finish my lecture with the hadith that I mentioned, that Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, how wonderful is the case of a believer, there is a good for him in every situation. If prosperity attends him, he expressed Alhamdulillah. If he is in good position, he said Alhamdulillah. Whenever he is in a bad situation, he is also have the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Say Inna Lillah. So we don't have any loss project. Wherever we are, whatever our situation, we always depend on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah.